gadgets and fun animals. And they're getting ready for Valentine's Day too over at SA Live at Market Square. Oh yes we are, and speaking of gadgets, you want the ultimate gadgets in your kitchen? Yes, how about wrangling up some of the coolest gadgets that you didn't know that you wanted? Yeah. That is right. Yes, Denise Sanchez is here, and what are we looking at? We're looking at a coffee machine that is on the countertop, and it grinds the beans. It's kind of like a gourmet coffee machine in your house. Get it started, okay. make dessert, and while that's brewing up, mm -hmm. we are going to be talking, you know, uh, rodeo, because you want to go to the rodeo? We've got some tickets for you, a yes. free giveaway. Yes, we are going to tell you how you you can win tickets and check out one of the concerts, so stick around to find out how. One of the animals they won't be wrangling at the rodeo <laughs> is an alligator, but Robert Trejo is from Zoomagination. Hello, hi. <laughs> you said you can train that thing? Yes, alligators are very smart, so they, they can be trainable. Uh, just like this little guy, he's already trained to be calm, to sit in my hand. But this is a six-month-old American alligator, so won't they get big and then they will. bite, yeah, bite that hand that feeds them? Yeah. Well, not if not if they are trained well, and not if they associate you with the hand that feeds them. So they'll they'll, they'll know they're very smart animals, and they'll grow. She's gonna get bigger. All right. Hmm. Okay. Well, there it is. It's finishing up right here. That fabulous dessert. We are gonna show you some really cool gadgets. Even more coming up, and it's National Homemade Soup Day. The Oscars, always a star-studded celebration, but this year especially, with some of show business's most revered veteran actors facing off against one another. In the Best Supporting Actor category, every nominee is a household name. The Best Supporting Actor category this year is completely stacked with acting legends. And remarkably, Brad Pitt is the only one who doesn't have an acting Oscar. His first Oscars nomination was in 1996. The other nominees have been in the running off and on even longer. This is the second time the Irishman co-stars Al Pacino and Joe Pesci have faced off. The icons went head to head for Best Supporting Actor 29 years ago. Joe Pesci in Goodfellas. You're very popular. Until now, Anthony Hopkins hadn't been nominated in 14 years. And this is Tom Hanks' first nod from the Academy in 19. Happened, so it was like, that was very, very cool. And when I you realize it. it's with all these other... Oh, no. So, so good. So much fun. Mama, please don't go to sleep now. No, no, no. Please. Yeah, the one. It's also an Oscars comeback in the Best Actress category. Renee Zellweger nominated for the first time since winning Best Supporting Actress in 2004, alluding to that during her uh, Golden Globes acceptance speech this year for her role well, in hi Judy. Everybody. It's nice to see you. Y'all look pretty good 17 years later. And 17 years after her last Oscars nomination, yeah, yeah. Kathy Bates is in the running for Best Supporting Actress. Mm -hmm. Among her competition, Laura Dern, who's also no stranger to the Academy Awards spotlight. I think having had the experience makes anything less scary um, and odd. Marcy Gonzalez, ABC News, Los Angeles. Get ready for a cold, short-lived blast of air. Tomorrow will be in the 40s all day, wind chills in the 30s. Not really expecting any kind of mixed precipitation, just some cold, light rain overnight tonight, and a few flakes possible in the hill country Wednesday, then, Wednesday night, rather. Then we're warming up, and we'll be back in the 70s by the weekend. All right, thank you, and thank you for joining us. Now a long-lived hour of fun. It's SA Live. It starts right now. Pamper your pooch. We're sharing some fun ways to treat your furry friends for Valentine's Day. Hey, free in February. Activities for the whole family that you can take advantage of at the San Antonio Public Library. And stay on your healthy track, training like an athlete to keep you fit and trim. We show you how to outplay and outlast the competition. You don't, Fiona. Closing in on it. Gentlemen, get ready mm -hmm. to peruse the card aisle. Yes. I was watching guys lined up like that. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, today is National Homemade Soup Day, and it got us thinking about which soup is the best or which soup is your favorite. And a survey asked about America's favorite soups, and here's what ranked in the top four. Number four, mm -hmm. potato soup, which yeah. is really good. Number three, clam chowder. 
got to be the white kind, not the Manhattan clam chowder. Number According two. To to, to what? <laughs> According or, to Mike. Okay, but <laughs> most people like the white stuff better. And uh, number two is tomato soup. Yes, tomato soup and grilled cheese. Oh. And number one, chicken, chicken noodle. Noodle, of yes, course. Of course, and it chicken is. Noodle, noodle soup, of course, a known remedy for the common cold, as it helps uh, white blood cells combat infections, and it outperforms water to kind of help, you know, with that stuffy nose. Hmm. I didn't, I didn't know that. Because mom and grandma always mm -hmm. gave it to you, and mm -hmm. they always made you feel better, so it goes yeah. hand in hand. So. so, what's your favorite soup? Is it the tomato soup with the grilled cheese, or maybe the homemade chicken noodle? Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and you might see your comments a little later on in the show. All right, as you just mm -hmm. saw, Sarah was talking about, we are getting ready for some perfect grilled cheese and soup weather because it's going to be nice and cold. So we got a little quick game to see how fast you can guess what the soup is and uh, oh, it's in a game called game show host <laughs> name that soup yes name jen is here with your favorite soup, soup which well, is look what i have for you guys i, I brought your favorite soup so Fiona yeah, said the tomato, tomato and the chicken noodle okay and you gotta have a good hunky all right so here's the soup. rolls ready? Right, ready okay so the same hand that you're using to eat the soup is the same hand that you have to use to hit your buzzer we're going to reveal one ingredient at a time, and we'll see if you can name that soup. Okay. All right. Okay. Ready? So, so we start eating. Yes. Okay. Go for it. Of course, you have to. All right. First ingredient: one cup of elbow pasta. Yeah. No? All right. Second ingredient: garlic. Um. Uh -huh. Any um. guesses? No. Okay. Next ingredient: dried oregano. Oh, minestrone. Oh wait, wait. <laughs> minestrone <laughs> soup. All right. Ah, you forgot oh, the no. wheel. All right. <laughs> What? All right, the next one. Listen. You gotta hit the buzzer, Listen. Mike. You gotta hit the buzzer. Okay. He's enjoying his soup way too much. All right, next one. The first ingredient for onions. Okay. Next ingredient, flour. French onion. Good job, Mike. All right. Perfect. One to one. That's one one. one. Yes. Okay. All right, the third soup. First ingredient, tomatoes. Okay. No? All right, second ingredient, tomato juice. Oh, go ahead. Tomato soup? Nope. Oh, keep eating, keep eating. All right. The um, next ingredient, Worcestershire sauce. You think that works? Worcestershire, Worcestershire. That one's always hard. Worcestershire yeah, I know. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> All right, and then balsamic. Oh. Anybody? This one's getting y'all. Okay. Then oh. some jalapeno. What is it? What's the dun, answer? Dun, dun. Um, okay. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to say it's, it's only an pistachio. There we go. He got it. He got it. Okay. All right. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. Page wins. We're getting the wrap. Let's go with the. Uh, let's see here. They, oh, they wrapped it. this up, that unfortunately. That so. was it. All right. Ooh, enjoy All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was Mike. Okay. Two to one. Oh, there you yeah, go. No, Y'all still can't have my soup. Off, I got tortilla soup. Tortilla soup. There you go. All right. Thank you, Jen. Okay. So don't forget to let us know what your favorite soup is. And we are now talking to our good. Whoa. Yes, <laughs> Robert, one of our favorite animal experts is here today, Robert Trejo from Zoo Imagination, brought off some unique friends to show off. And don't worry, no alligators were harmed in that soup segment. <laughs> there is no alligator soup on the premises. Okay. He, can, he can breathe a little easier now. <laughs> yeah, he's getting nervous. So this is what you would find down along East Florida, Texas, Florida, right, Southeast Everglades. United States. Yes, just he is an alligator. She is an alligator. Yeah, she is an American alligator. She's only six months old, but they, she will grow. They live about 50 years, between 35 to 50 years. And you are looking at a living dinosaur right here because they have gone, they have not, they've been around since for millions of years. You said everything else went extinct 150 million years, right. except those. Except these animals, right. They have not changed their evolution. They, they have not evolved in any way. They look just like they did back 150 million years ago. Well, you don't change so, what works, right? right? Exactly. No. Yeah. <laughs> right. So how big is she going to get? She'll probably be between six and eight feet, weigh about maybe 250 to 400 pounds. This depends on really on where they are found. If there's good, if there's a plentiful food, they right. can get bigger a lot faster, quicker, a right. lot faster, kind of right? Depends. Now, this is not the type of thing that would make a pet. Correct. Right. You don't want these animals as pets. Not only that, because they do get big, and they do have a very strong bite. They have the strongest bite of any animal in the animal kingdom. They have a very powerful bite, over a thousand pounds of pressure. More so than like a more than a lion or anything, or a lion or more than any of those animals. They've really? actually done studies on that. 
Yes, and these animals, when they're sitting there at the, at the edge of the water and, and you have an animal going up to drink water, like maybe even a dog or a pet, mm -hmm. you gotta be careful when you're in that area of the country because these alligators can leap out of the water at over 50 miles an hour. They're very powerful animals, very oh strong. So if they're coming at you, you're not getting away. Right, you better okay. run. They can run pretty fast, yeah. <laughs> now, they're cousins who I hear about crocodiles, and Australian right. crocodiles and all right. that, and you said, as far as the sensors that they have. Right, they have these, American alligators have these little sensors around their mouth, and it's hard to see, they look like little peppers, like little peppered. But on the crocodiles, it's all over their body. So it, it's kind of believed that the reason why a crocodiles are a little bit more, uh, a little bit more triggered when it comes to that, could even be more aggressive, is because they are so sensitive to just everything. But these little sensors let them know when there's something in the water while they're sitting there floating. If an animal's drinking or a, a fish moves, that well, the ripples of the water hits their mouth and they know which way to go. Wow. Yes, they're very incredible. Yeah, now incredible. these animals were, they were becoming extinct for the longest time, but uh, due to legislation, they were actually protected. So now their numbers are back. So they are no longer on the extinct, uh, on the endangered species list. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Okay. What do we have next? Better. Our next better. animal coming out right now is another animal. By the way, these are all animals that are native to uh, North America. This next mm -hmm. beautiful bird, his name is Twister. He is a peregrine falcon. Peregrine falcons are found all over the world. Uh, Twister is seven years old, he's full grown, and you are looking at the fastest living animal on the planet. How fast? These animals, when they hunt, their speeds can exceed between 220 to 240 miles an hour. Wow! They, they are a tough bird of prey. They prey on other birds. So mm -hmm. their favorite prey are pigeons and doves, uh, and they do that in the air. So they, they're, they're specialized for hunting in the air. Oh, so if they've got their eye on something, Yes. It's, it's over. Good it's night over. Right? Not only that, yeah. but they can actually keep an eye on several birds over a mile and a half away. So they keep an eye, they can see a penny a mile away, just to give an idea of how far they can see. Their eyesight is incredible. So once they see a bird, they dive, they tuck their wings, and it's called a stoop. And as they're diving, they become so aerodynamic uh, that that is what causes them to fly so fast. They also have a special bone in that nostril. You see the little bone sticking out of his nostril. Mm -hmm. That bone is oh, there yeah. to, to prevent air from flowing into his beak too fast. No other bird has that. It's designed to keep him from passing out as he's flying. So to give you an idea, uh, your average pilot can handle maybe eight to 10 Gs. Right? Uh, uh, Peregrine falcons can handle 25 G's. 25 G's. 25 G's. Get out of here, seriously. Yeah, oh yeah it's incredible. These animals are incredible. So they're very, they're incredible. They're all over this place too. You can see them everywhere. They're found all over the world. Uh, there's different sizes and different, uh, depending on what part of the world you are, but they are. So if he's making a dive and puts his wing out and turns and all that stuff, yeah. he's pulling about 25 G. Yeah. It's wow. cool. <laughs> okay, that's. Yeah, Isn't so that awesome? Cool. Yeah. Yes. Cool so very, very cool bird of prey. So I got. And, All right. Yeah. What, so now next? our next animal, a very, very cool animal. I'm gonna have to go down here for a second here. Give me just a second here. This one takes a little bit more time. Yeah. Sorry about oh, that. That's okay. Oh. Here right. we go. Hey. <laughs> 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 now, this okay. is. A little bit different. Yeah. <laughs> this is an. This road. is an right. opossum. As opposed to a possum. As opposed to a possum. The reason why the opossums are found in North America and South America. Opossums are, are native to like Australia in that part of the world. So these are known as opossums. And there's different species, but opossums come from North America and South America. This is Poppy. She's also known as a Virginia opossum, uh, native to North America. Uh, these animals are another cool animal that you see everywhere. Everybody sees them in their backyard, backyard unfortunately, yeah. on the side of the road. But these animals are so misunderstood. And the reason why is because a lot of people think of them as a Texas-sized rat. But they're not. They're actually marsupials. They're related to the kangaroo. OK. So they are, they're neat animals. Uh, they eat just about anything. They're yeah. nocturnal. And this tail, I know you're looking at this tail. It's prehensile, right? It's so prehensile, is... right. And, there's, and there's, doesn't, she doesn't have any hair on it because it allows her to grip onto the trees as she's climbing through the trees. So it kind of helps her hang on to things. She can also carry things with her tail. So if she finds nesting materials on her way home, she picks it up with her tail and carries them home. Really? Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, and, and they're not bad to have. It's not like having a, a skunk in your backyard or something like that. But. Right, and the reason why is because these animals don't carry disease. They don't get sick. Uh, for instance, they're immune to rabies. So if an animal has rabies and they get a bites a possum, they don't carry it. Nah, not only that, but they're also immune to rattlesnake uh, venom. Oh, so, and, okay. so, so these animals, and they eat ticks. That's their thing. And they eat okay. ticks. And then without them, we would have a lot more ticks. Very quickly. We got one more little animal. This one here oh, is a very sweet little owl. Her name is Athena. Oh, 
She is an eastern screech owl, one of the smallest owl species in the world. Uh, she weighs probably about five to three, three to four ounces. Uh, she's five years old, and she does have one eye. So uh, she was rescued. She was found uh, down in Corpus Christi. And these are all native to this area, uh, this particular owl, and her, she preys on insects. Those okay. are it. So all these animals you can find, I mean, out at the, we'll be at the rodeo this and year. You're going to be at the rodeo. That's yeah. right. That's and right. you can also come to schools and yes. group or yes. kids organizations and everything like that. Absolutely, so. yes. Okay. Well, if you'd like to find out more information about Zoom Imagination, thank you very, very much. Fascinating. <laughs> Just go to essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Well, of course, animals are a fun part of the rodeo, but you know, the music is too. And today, we have a big giveaway. So you have until Thursday at noon to enter to win a family four pack to the PRCA Rodeo and see Aaron Watson for the Celebrate Faith and Family Night. Just head to SALive.com or the SA Live Facebook to enter to win. All right. Do you want to look great in your rodeo gear? Or staying strong to wrestle those doggies and all that stuff. Today, <laughs> yes. Okay. Today we're showing yeah, you how you can outlast any competitor with JC Ultimate Training. Take a look. <laughs> All right, if you want to up your game on the court or on the field, Jermaine Collier with JC Ultimate Training can help you take it to the max. Absolutely, with Vertimax Training. I have a new six-week program for any athlete. Any athlete literally who plays sports need to work on their speed, agility, quickness, core, and then vertical. All right, and this is how it works. So the first one up is a 5-5-10 drill. We're going to work on your acceleration and your change of direction, okay? So what I want you to start in a two-point stance, so come on right over here. Left foot up here. All right, so put your left foot up here, right here, okay? I want you to accelerate fast as possible to the middle cone. This is five yards apart. That's why it's called five, five, 10. Accelerate here, touch with your right hand. Back here, five yards with your left hand and fire out to the last cone, that's 10 yards. So five, five, 10. Go! Touch there, turn and run. Touch, turn and run again. There you go. Good, good acceleration right there, it's perfect. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll this particular exercise is increase your acceleration, and also your change of direction. Well, accelerate. I could feel that on the way back. It was really fast. But you got to use your core to slow it down. I don't want you running into the wall at all. Okay. But we definitely want to increase those areas. Okay. All right. What's going to happen here? This one is definitely for your endurance. Endurance is my wheelhouse, JC. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I've never said about endurance. So you're gonna sprint out here, fast. Touch this cone. Keep your chest over those knees. Back pedal back. All the way back here, come around this cone and accelerate to the next cone. All right, so like the letter V. Let's see it get okay. done. Three, two, one, go. Make sure you drop those hips, chest down right now, back pedal. All the way there. Now accelerate to the next one. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Drop those hips down, back pedal, pump those arms, accelerate to the next one. I want you to be a machine out there. Let's go. Let's go. Keep on grinding. Keep on grinding. Get your cardio on. There you go. Keep that chest down. There you go. Good, good, good. Feeling good. Feeling great. Good job. Well, this particular exercise, it helps your acceleration, your deceleration. I want you to be able to backpedal effectively and then change the direction in a fast pace, okay? All right, Fiona, you ever watch the NBA game? I have. When you see these guys getting up off the floor and dunking that basketball, they jump very high. They jump very high. And these are one of the tools they use to get that job done. Okay. Now, with the Vertimax, it's trains your fast twist muscles. I want you to get in quarter squat position. So drop those hips, hand back here. Now, as soon as you land, you got to hop right back up. I need eight jumps. Three, two, one, go. Power. Yes. Come on, come on, you got it. Two, three, four, beautiful. Five, six, seven, and eight, relax. Good job. So this tool for Vertimax training, you don't find all over town, right? Absolutely not. You don't find this tool all over town. You might find them in Division I schools. A lot of professional basketball clubs have them. Professional sports have them also. But you won't see them until you get to that next level. So if they come here, they come to you, they not only get to utilize it, but utilize it correctly. Yeah, absolutely. That's the key thing, utilizing correctly. We're certified with Vertimax training. We've been doing it for 10 years plus. All right, so if someone wants to sign up for Vertimax training, Tell them what they need to know. You can log on to JC Ultimate Training. First session is always free. Any athlete, any sport, Vertimax to get the job done. For more information on JC Ultimate Training and Jermaine Collier, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. 
I'm gonna go get some water and just dunk <laughs> myself in a shower or something. Still ahead on SA Live, it's not too late to start seeing 2020 in 2020. Manrique Custom Vision has the solution to getting rid of glasses and contacts for good. And next, if you're looking for the perfect home appliances, look no further, because HomeWorks is giving you a ton of handy gadgets you didn't know you needed. Stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, when it comes to home gadgets, it can make life easier. HomeWorks can help with that and then some. Yes, Denise Sanchez is here to share just a few of her top picks. This stuff is fancy schmancy, but it really does impress folks, right? It, it sure does. And with the proliferation of all the gourmet coffee shops around, we know that we now know that a good cup of coffee is not just dehydrated, you know, crystals. In a so cup. this is better than going anywhere to yeah, any yes. coffee shop. So. so you put your your beans in here. You're hoping because it grinds the beans for you okay. and then your water goes in here and so this is designed to go on the countertop. Mm -hmm. um, then when you decide which cup of coffee you want, you just press what you want and I'm going to make a fancy schmancy drink. Okay. This is the macchiato. It takes the, the best barista to know how to froth the milk and steam the milk correctly to get it just the right consistency. And this is what this does. This is what this does. And it, it uh, you can set the temperature of the water, like if you like it real extra hot or not as hot, you can do that. You can set the amount of um, milk, the amount of coffee, the Ooh. grind. Now Ooh. what it's doing is frothing the milk. Wow, that was step one. And then it's gonna steam it's the milk. already impressive. Yeah. Then it's gonna grind the beans. Ooh. And it it's in as a shot of espresso to sit right in the middle of this. And then it's gonna and then it's gonna walk over. It's gonna gently wake you up in yeah. the morning. But you also can do coffee. things like you can do things like hot chocolate. You can put chocolate milk in here, and make a mocha or hot oh, wow. chocolate for the kids. You saw at the beginning of the hour where uh -huh. we did an ice cream drink, mm -hmm. right? We did some ice cream. We did uh, a shot of espresso, whipped cream, a little drizzle of the chocolate. So here we go now. We're getting ready to dispense the. Um, okay. While well, that's still so, going, yeah. we'll, we'll let you keep an eye on that while we move over. We're going go we to go to this one yeah. for the wine connoisseur mm -hmm. and then some, oh. the ultimate fancy schmancy. This is brand new to the market. And what this is, it's like having a sommelier in your hip pocket. So now, <laughs> what, we, what you do is you put t uh, two bottles in, any bottle you want, and it will take a picture. There's a camera inside, will take a picture of the actual label. So let's do this. Oh. Wow. So there it is. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the door. So now I can put in two different bottles of wine. Okay. It will actually puncture the wine, the the seal, and dispense it. It will refrigerate it to the correct temperature that is recommended, um, and then it will keep it for 90 days. And what's important about that is, have you ever wanted to get a glass of wine, but oh, I don't want to do it because. I don't want to waste, waste a whole it, bottle, right. right? I only want three glasses out of the whole bottle. <laughs> Speaking so, of which, let's get a glass of wine. Okay, yeah. so now. And it, it can pour a little bit or a lot. It can pour anything you want. So let's just go over here real quick though. So it will give you some information. It'll tell you uh, the, the area that this label was, the, where the grape was, the information about the grape, all that. But now we want to do a pour. So what we want to do is, let's just do a one ounce taste. Okay. So now it's doing it. I love this. This will make you sound see, and it so shows you the color of the wine. Educated about wine, if you're not, you know. Okay. You can have your fancy schmancy mm -hmm. coffee drink. And then your, this is the wine. wine. I'm on it. Okay. And mm -hmm. the perfect thing that goes with this, of oh, course. So now is the charcuterie. When, right. And when you have two amazing appliances like this, who doesn't want to have a party, right? Of so now let's do a charcuterie board. Just throw the favorite things that your friends and family you know, or would love to have. You know, some prosciutto, cheeses, walnuts, and have a beautiful party. Where can people mm -hmm. find homeless? We're We're at Bitters and 281, next to Easy's Restaurant. All okay. right, and all these really fancy schmancy kind of things there. So, Denise, thank you very much. And for more information on HomeWorks, go to head, a, head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Very cool, thank you. Still ahead on the show, some puppy love as we count down to Valentine's Day. We'll tell you where you can find these canine cute looks a little later on. And next on the show, say big on LASIK. You won't want to miss out on these deals from Manrique Custom Vision. So stay with us. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, here's to everyone that had to reach for their glasses before reaching for the remote, or you take the paper and you're going like 
this, and it's like you don't have to be burdened by those glasses. You got the cheaters laying around, everything like that. You don't have to be burdened by those glasses anymore. Z LASIK is fast and easy, and you can save a lot of money on it today. Richard Doinoff, Operations Manager at Manrique Custom Vision, is here to tell us all about the advanced type of LASIK. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, good seeing you. So we've heard about LASIK, but this is the Z LASIK. What's yeah. different about that? Uh, Z-LASIK is considered by most to be the least invasive, so it's actually considered seven times faster, 50% 50, 50 more accurate than any other LASIK system on the market. And Dr. Manrique is actually the only trainer in Texas for this procedure. So how do people know if they are a candidate for it? Uh, basically, they can call or text to the number that's being posted up. Um, they come in for a complimentary consultation that we offer to all your viewers. Uh, it takes about an hour to an hour and a half to make sure that it's safe. If we determine that it's safe and that it will benefit them, then we can go ahead and do it. And this can be from the, the smallest uh, astigmatism or something like that to if somebody is, you know, almost can't see their hand in front of their face and have uh, certain limitations, but pretty much takes care of everything, right? I was just talking to a young lady in the back. It can correct nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. And the laser system is actually said to be able to do about six times higher than the average laser wow. as far as prescriptions, yeah. Okay, so the procedure itself does not take that long, right? Um, actually, it's under 10 seconds or not, even with the biggest procedures out there. Then how long is the recovery, and when you're done, what can you do that day? You know, the most amazing part of my job is watching people getting up and seeing immediately. Um, you just want to go home and take a little nap for about four hours. You can get up, resume any normal activities. You just have to be extra careful with water and stuff like that. Okay, so just to maybe a day, a couple of days, something like that. Yeah, just we, we keep people out of the swimming pool for about three weeks, but other than that, normal activities. Okay, what about uh, financing? Uh, right now, we we're, like last week we offered 36 months interest free, and we still have it going until about the end of February. Uh, we have low monthly payment plans, and then we have interest free payment plans, so we can help any budget. Okay, and you got a big savings going on today, right? Yep, whatever you put up there. Okay, <laughs> well, put up the full screen, and we will read through it right now. That's uh, we have an $1,800 off your Z LASIK procedure if you call or text within the next hour. So that phone number is 210 354 2020 or text. LASIK to 45384. And for more information on Manrique Custom Vision, visit sa.manriqueeye.com. Quite a savings. Richard, thank you very much. Very nice seeing you again. Good seeing you, sir, as always. All right, still ahead on SA Live. Watch your wrinkles, under eye bags, and dark circles disappear right before your eyes. You can save money on Plexiderm. We'll tell you how. And next, Spoil your little fur baby this Valentine's Day and talk like this too, where you can get great treats for your special pup. Stay with us. Look at that little baby there. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, so you may be thinking about spoiling somebody special, or how about a little furry special friend. Yes, for your fur babies. Well, Desiree tomorrow from Canine Cafe Boutique and Spa has some adorable gifts for uh, for you to help uh, kind of show your dog some puppy love, right? Yes. And you brought you have all sorts of stuff there at your boutique. I do. We love Valentine's mm -hmm. Day, so we are featuring a couple of our Valentine's Day outfits. Sophia here is in a custom made tutu dress with the matching hat that she does not want to keep on today. Of course not. <laughs> but too, too um, cute. we can actually make this in any size from two pounds to 200 pounds, any color, any size, any design that you'd like. And these range from $20 up to $40. So really affordable. And, and then we have Miss Emma here. She is in our Be Mine Valentine's dress. It's super cute. She weighs about 50 pounds, but I can fit up to 75 pounds in this outfit. And the outfit also, you can accessorize with this cute little headpiece. Ooh. It's only $7. The underbite with that is yeah. just a perfect It's group. adorable. <laughs> and then we also have the little neck scrunchie. Those are really cool. I have those in different colors, and those are only $8. And like you said, the, the, everything is very, very affordable and more than just maybe Valentine's things too, right? Yes, so we've got right here, this is Cosmo. He is in one of our little rodeo outfits. He's got a rodeo uh, uh, cowboy hat on with a cowboy scarf and this is a onesie, Sophia, stop. Um, this is our little onesie that comes with the plaid shirt. It's only $25 for the overalls and I can fit from 
four pounds to about 25, 30 pounds in those. And you said do a booth mm -hmm. at the rodeo, And right? we do. We have a booth at the rodeo. We are in Expo Hall 1. We are the first booth there. You cannot miss us. We've got a ton of awesome new stuff for the spring and the summer. Okay. All right, All right, and oh, this, and we, this guy's ready for some love. Yes, oh, now this is Dash. He mm -hmm. is a 65 pound Australian Shepherd mix, and he's got our little Be Mine. Remember the little candies that you eat oh, for yeah. Valentine's Day? Well, this is the little representation of that. It has Be Mine on one side and Puppy Love on the other, and these are only 20 bucks, any size. I can go super huge on this. And then underneath yeah. that, and though. And then underneath, look what we've got. We've got the Chiefs jersey. This is in a double extra large, and they won the Super Bowl, so I figured let's represent that, but we can do any, we carry every NFL team, every NBA team, and all MLB teams as well. So your dog can get in on your big game day fun. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Now, okay. if you're really, really close to your dog, and a lot of people don't go anywhere without them, yes. but you sometimes need a third hand to carry right. them, yes, and you've got the solution what, here. What's really great is to have these really comfortable fabric side slings. So basically, they just go over one shoulder. You can switch either side. They're adjustable in the back. So they have a little D-ring here that you can make it lower or higher. Um, this here is uh, BB, and she's in our camouflage side sling. It has a safety harness strap in there so that your dog is also latched in. Uh, we have um, Hershey. Hershey's in our little pink dress in our jean side sling. I love this one because it can match with everything. And very and then, quickly, we want to kind of get to the I know we okay, have more yeah. of those, but your, your yeah. little treats. Yes, ones, right? we, we also have, have a seconds. bakery. So our bakery does gluten free, dairy free cookies and cakes, birthday cakes. And here we have our little baby eating our cookies, and they absolutely love them. They're right. super cute with our little hats and all the <laughs> accessories you can find at the store. Too incredibly you need cute. For yes. Your little fur baby. If you Desiree, want to know more about Canine you. Cafe Boutique and Spa, go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live. Thank you all very much. Thank yes. you. All right, still ahead on SA Live. Get crafty this Valentine's Day. We're learning how to make crafts the whole family can have fun with. And next, stop feeling self conscious when you leave the house. Find your solution to under eye bags and a whole lot more. That's coming up. Well, it can take years off your appearance in just a matter of minutes. No surgery, so easy. You can do it right at home, and today you get half off. We're talking about Plexiderm, and lifestyle expert Casey Messer is here to tell us how it works. It always yeah. sounds too good to be true. I know. It's one of those, oh, I don't believe it. They must have edited it or done something. No, real people doing this, a makeup artist doing this. We've got our boy Richie, who you've probably seen before. Richie bags. Richie's got some bags, you know. <laughs> he really does, poor guy. So if you look on the video, he he applies a very, very small amount of Plexiderm under his eye to combat, you know, that three, those three-dimensional bags. I never knew about three-dimensional bags, but you look at them, those are 3D. Yeah. So this time lapse, it's sped up, and here's the thing, guys. When you do apply it, be very still. It is so hard to be still and not, I'm very expressive with my face and my eyebrows. You got to be still for the 10 minutes because it's going to start to work right away, but be still for the 10 minutes to get up to 10 hours. Just on clean, dry skin, Yes, right? that's the key, too. Clean, dry skin, um, and then you're, you you can use oil-free moisturizers and oil-free makeup and then just a little dab you know don't you don't have to be really harsh applying that makeup anymore and a lot of people say they don't even need much makeup you know once you use that plexiderm yeah because so. a lot of times you use yes. the cover to cover up the bag so you don't have exactly this. So we have some before yeah. and after pictures of some folks as well and yeah look what it does I yeah. mean, it takes away those those I, wrinkles and that saggy kind of skin and everything and, too. and people can you know people are afraid to go under the knife it's expensive you don't know what you're gonna get when you do do injections as you can see on the forehead there and then the other spot people are starting to use it it's around the mouth but also under um, the neck kind of the turkey neck that happens with age or maybe somebody who's lost a lot of weight so it's not it's not just for the bags as it started that way plexiderm did start off just for those bags but the, whole, the entire face speaking of bags again let's check in on Richie, Richie. one more time and <laughs> see where he is and again this is sped up time lapse but that is one and look at the difference that in amazing? just a little over a minute yeah Richie you know was plucked from accounting they said hey you're gonna be in our commercial and he got excited and he said oh you're, you're trying to mess up with my bags my face but he was so excited but again you got to be still during the 10 minute process just be still be stoic you know maybe do your meditation for the
the 10 minutes when you apply that Flexiderm. <laughs> That's a good idea. Hey, let's hear from a woman who has used Flexiderm. My real true opinion is holy words I can't say on camera. <laughs> These lines bother me, they really do. And this is absolutely unbelievable. I mean, I could feel it just lifting my skin. It was amazing. It feels good, it feels great, it looks even better. Feels great and looks great it too. It does, yeah. Real quick, let me tell you the, my, my story on my great aunt. She applied it just to half of her face and she said, Gerald, get in here. He walked in and he goes, what did you do? <laughs> so, so everyday people like it and then of course, makeup artists are liking it as well. Right, here's a testimonial. Hi guys, my name is Sandy Marinese. I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and one of the number one question that I always get in my chair is, can you make me look younger? So we had a few people that we applied it to and some of them at first I was like, oh, I don't know if this is gonna work. And I was so impressed how fast, efficient, and how well it really worked. Now I could really say to people, yes, I can make you look younger. Make it look, yeah, yeah, and look at that. Once again, after a minute, almost two minutes, right. looks fantastic. No hey, downtime. If you call now, you get up to 50% off and free shipping when you order Plexiderm. The number is 1 800 693 9286 or visit their website at plexiderm.com. It's Casey, thank, thank you very you. much. Thank you. All right, next on SA Live, if you're still trying to find the right thing to make this Valentine's Day, San Antonio Library has you covered. Stay tuned. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, have you been looking for something to do with the whole family this Valentine's Day? This is just the thing. That's right. Victoria Villarreal from the San Antonio Public Library is sharing some family fun, the crafts and books. Always good to see you. Yeah, You've got such fun things to do. So what yeah. are we making today? Well, today I brought a few different crafts. I brought a little Valentine's wreath here. Mm -hmm. And then some homemade Valentine's oh. cards because this is always really fun and personal. Those are priceless. And yes. yes, just the perfect gift, especially for kids that are taking Valentine's to school. Yes, yes. so and we've got a couple. Especially for mom, too. If you want to have mom just love you yes. forever. Yes, budget friendly. Um, so we have a pop up card. This one's really cool. That's what we're going to be making oh, right okay. now. Okay. So if first off, if you want to demonstrate how to just cut out a card, Fiona, okay. I mean, cut, cut out, out a heart. 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 Okay. Yes. I was like a card. We didn't go over no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> a heart. Yes. So just, you know, just a little simple trick to get all the kids used to making little hearts, you Looks know, like just you cutting it out, in folding it in half. Yes. So there's that part. Now for the inside, you're going to do the same thing. Just okay. leave these little slits so of part? Like paper right there. So just everything yeah. except so you'll cut, the sides. Right. You'll cut the top and leave so. just like a little bit. Yep. So you'll stop like right there and then go from the bottom. You'll cut around like a semicircle. Uh, yeah. There you go. Just like that. And then... Yeah, oh, uh -oh. almost. Uh -oh. <laughs> can... uh -oh. yes. I got it. Wait, wait. There, like stuck. that. Yes. The mine's not... You'll go to like right there. Oh, okay. There, and then you go like that. There you go. So when you open it... <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> oh, this I out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. Almost. I'm being amazed over but... here, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm happened? I'm sorry. I didn't explain to leave this little what section happened? here. What happened? Oh, oh, I went all... Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But Fiona well, got, got it. Oh, it's okay. Not everyone has yes. the talent for this, Mike. Now you'll just you can improvise <laughs> when you're making these things at the San Antonio Public Library. <laughs> My mother will still love this. So. so you just glue the whole little paper onto your page. Oh, please, thank you. Yes. There you go. Okay. Oh no. Oh, now I got it. I got it. <laughs> so the whole okay, thing. So mm -hmm. Is this going to be available mm -hmm. at any of the uh, branches? Yes, system wide. We will be having crafts. There are constantly crafts going on, craft days, come and go crafts. Um, just check out the website, mysapple.org, and you can find out where, what location nearest to you. Okay. There you go. And then you'll just kind of lift this lift up. Lift this up a bit. Yeah. Okay. There you go. And then let's, let's hold it. <laughs> What's happening over there? Nothing. Ted's laughing at me. Okay. So. And then Here you fold it. Yep. And when you okay. open it, <gasps> look how cute. Oh, that worked. See. What's going on over there? <laughs> see, it worked. It did work. Yes, yes that's perfect. It yeah. worked. Ha -ha. It does okay. work. You oh, just gotta fix nice. the bottom part right yes. here. But technically, <laughs> it's it's fine. Yes. 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 Perfect. It's, it's a very perfect. beautiful heart. Thank you. Very Bonnie, much. Bonnie will love that. Finally, <laughs> that you made it yourself. I did. Yes. And we have another craft. This one's really easy. 
Um, you just and take. Also, and also, we're, mm, we're, we're, we're out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cut cards, but also, um, you've got different books about Valentine's Day. Yes, yes. And all sorts of good things. Lots of books. These are all children's books. A lot of books about love, just the different kinds of love, and also about valuing loving yourself as well. For more information, head over to the EssayLive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. Victoria, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you. Tomorrow on SA Live, getting creative for the rodeo season. We're going to share some DIY ideas for the whole family. Plus, nail that Valentine's Day look. We're sharing fashion tips that will wow your sweetheart that day. You can't be good at every single craft. You're good at a lot of them. I give you that. My mother's